doing my own Special Olympics since for the past eight years I did. Yep, got one gold medal and one bronze Appreciate from my nationals last year. A lot of pushing through. Before I was doing for a little bit swim because I had to keep pushing to myself just like I always do. But it's not love doing for winning, but because we all just need to be having a good time just like anybody else does. Ethan he started Special Olympics in junior high, seventh grade. My parents had a pool in their backyard. I was a lifeguard in college. So, I mean, he's been swimming since he was a baby. He was all gung-ho about it. I mean, he did every, every single sport they offered. He wanted to participate in it. You have to have won a state medal in order to go to nationals. There were only two male swimmers in the entire state that got to go and he was one of them. He did the 100 meter butterfly and they did a 100 meter freestyle. This year for summer games was track. He's a big ham. If he's getting cheered on, he goes on much harder and that's when he does his best. Good job, Ethan! He was diagnosed with autism at the age of three. I fought it for a little while, not long, but you know, I, I denied it for a little bit. And then because I had already had the experience with working with people with disabilities, I knew. And then, you know, I got into the case manager mode and started applying for everything that he needed. And we applied for the wait list when he was three. He didn't get approved until he was 12. He did have an HTS for a little while when we first got on services. And then once he got ETL, we didn't really need the HTS because she works on a lot of the same things that an HTS does. So I started working with him in 2014. I mean, that's nine years. So I've gotten to see him grow up and turn into a man and gain those independent skills. And so I just love seeing that progress. We want every individual that we work with to have the best possible life that they can. You know, it helps somebody be able to get out in the community and go to the store, you know, purchase groceries if they need to, go into a vocational setting where they can earn money to go and do activities that they enjoy. So each of the skills that we um, work on is very important to all of the individuals and it does help them live their best life. His communication skills have grown by leaps and bounds every year. All the experiences that he's experienced through Special Olympics, his services at DDS with his effective teaching and learning, learning all of his coping skills, they have really helped him to live his best life. And I hope that anyone that has worked with Ethan feels the same, that they just, they feel rewarded in that.